Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video, we're going to have a look at the backstories of all major Yamada Eseimon samurai warriors who were sent to the island called Kotaku. So let's start with the backstory of Shion, who is the fourth rank Eseimon of the Yamada clan. After the Shogun called for criminals to acquire the elixir of life from the dangerous island known as Kotaku in exchange for a pardon for their past crimes. Shion joined in the expedition team as one of the Yamada Aseimon monitors and he was assigned to keep watch over the criminal Akaginu until the mission was complete. Unlike many other samurai, Shion was not born in a warrior clan or any other prestigious family. Shion was born as a blind child and his mother was a traveling street performer. At a young age, Shion awakened his ability to sense Tao and was able to perceive the world around him. Because of this, Shion's mother used him as a way to raise money and she gave him the nickname Sword God Child. Shion would go on to perform for others by dodging the participating customer's wooden sword swings at him. As part of the act, Shion's mother also carved scars on her son's face which made people think that he lost his eyes because of the injuries that left those scars. After some years, he caught the attention of the Grand Kengyo and he was welcomed into the Todoza along with his mother. Through their connections, Shion was also brought into the Yamada clan and he was trained in the ways of an executioner. Upon entrance to both housings, Shion's mother fabricated a false story about him being born as an illegitimate child to a renowned swordsman and that he was given his scars from first seeing battle at a young age. Shion went along with this story, knowing that it would destroy his mother's honor if he were to stray away from his mother's story. So he hid his past throughout his years from the people close to him in the Yamada clan. He then spent his time following the ways of the clan and eventually earned his name as Yamada Aseimon Shion. He also proved himself to be worthy enough to receive the fourth ranking to become the clan's next potential leader. When not engaged in his work as a sword tester, Shion took some time off in helping others which led him to meet Tenza off the streets. He then persuaded the young man into joining the Yamada clan and later he took Tenza in as his student. After him, there is Shugen who is the Yamada clan's second rank Aseimon and he's also one of the strongest characters in Hell's Paradise. Shugen was born as an only child and he lived in a large shop owned by his parents. While still sound asleep one night, Shugen's parents were murdered after a young man broke in and robbed the shop. After finding about his parents' murder at the hands of a criminal, a young Shugen went into a state of depression and started to develop a disdain towards those who commit illegal actions. Wanting to seek revenge for the yet-to-be-captured criminal who took his parents away from him, Shugen came to the doorsteps of the Yamada clan and there he was looked after by Yamada Aseimon Aizen who had promised to be there for him to see that he learned the ways of the clan. After being accepted, Shugen pledged his full loyalty to everything the clan stood for and wanted to learn all that he could from his clan members after becoming greatly attached to them. He eventually earned his name as a Yamada Aseimon and was given the second rank as a potential candidate to become the clan's next head. He was recognized by his peers as being the strongest member within the clan and many members were willing to become his followers. Some time ago, Shugen felt that Sagiri was qualified for a ranking and he begged his superiors to consider giving Sagiri a rank as a Yamada Aseimon. During one of his duties as an executioner, Shugen executed the captured members of the Silver Serpent Yakuza group in order for their boss to reveal the remaining members hidden within the castle town. After successfully executing all 20 members of the group, Shugen moved towards executing the families of each member and he didn't even show any mercy to women and children of their families. This event caused Shugen to have an infamous reputation but also caught the approval of the Shogun who rewarded him with a sword named Fuributsu Kaneki and ceremonial clothing for his bravery and loyalty. So after, there is Yamada Aseimon Jika, who is the third rank Aseimon in the Yamada clan. 
Ever since he was young, Jika became blessed with a special intuition that allowed him to know how things or people will move accordingly, which also proved useful to him in knowing how to inflict fatal injuries to people. While living a life of poverty in a small town full of deception and robbery, a 15-year-old Jika broke into a large shop late at night and committed burglary. He then made his leave, but not before killing the shop owners who were a husband and wife. Unknowingly, Chika spared the life of the couple's child who was asleep at the time of his parents' murder. At some point, Jika decided on using his special talent to become a samurai, not wanting to become a warrior who participates in wars. Jika chose to join the Yamada clan as a way to avoid this, and soon he managed to earn his name as a Yamada Aseimon. He also earned the third rank to become the clan's next head. After gaining his status, Jika took his occupation as an executioner less seriously. He attended his execution assignments while intoxicated, and he even sold his sword in order to earn money for his sexual activities with different partners. This resulted in him earning a bad reputation within the clan. After the Shogun turned towards the Yamada clan for help in gathering death row criminals for a mission to retrieve the elixir of life from an island, Jika ended up being assigned to Horubo and he offered the monk the mission if he wished to be pardoned for his crimes, to which the monk agreed. And if any of you have not realized it till now, Jika was the one who killed Shugen's parents while robbing their shop. After him, there is Aza Toma. Aza Toma and Aza Chobe were born as sons to a retainer under the service of the daimyo of Ako Domain. However, after Daimyo attacked the court official Kira Yoshinaka at Edo Castle, he was sentenced to commit seppuku. As a result, their father and the rest of the retainers had their status removed and were left as ronin, leaving their family in poverty. Their mother eventually died of an illness and their father was executed for being a part of the Arco incident, leaving the two siblings left alone to defend for themselves. They were eventually taken by bandits who planned on selling them, but they later came to live amongst them after Chobei managed to become their leader. During their years as bandits, Toma and Chobei were cornered and were about to be arrested. Chobei tells Toma to escape and that he trusts him that he would come and rescue him from prison. After his brother's arrest, Toma manages to get into Yamada clan. After infiltrating the Yamada clan and rising to their ranks in a month, Toma was given a chance to take on an execution, which he completes swiftly. He then comes to free Chobei in prison by presenting him the mission given by the Shogun to find the elixir of life, and then they both go to the island along with the other criminals. So next, we have Sagiri, who is the daughter of Yamada Asaimon Kichiji. When she was young, Sagiri watched as her father skillfully decapitated a condemned performer with a single swing of his sword. From that day, she became inspired to walk the path of an executioner and achieve the same level of skill as her father. As she began her training on how to wield a sword, Sagiri was looked down on by her fellow Yamada members as well as her father for being a female following the path of a samurai. Sagiri was also shunned by other children because of her clan's bad reputation. Despite the harsh treatment she faced, Sagiri managed to earn her name as a Yamada Aseimon and a ranking, and Yamada Aseimon Shugen also helped her a lot in order to achieve her goal. When it comes to Tenza, he trained under Shion and he managed to become the 10th rank Aseimon in the Yamada clan. From a young age, Tenza started off on the streets, but when he was eventually picked up by Xion, Xion made Tenza his apprentice in the Yamada clan. He then earned his name as Yamada Aseimon and also became the 10th ranked Aseimon. After meeting and learning how Nurugai was sentenced to prison, Tenza believed that she was wronged and he invited her to partake in the mission to acquire the elixir of life for the Shogun and be pardoned. He believed that Nurugai was innocent and did not deserve to die on the island, so he made it his own mission to protect Nurugai from every danger on the island. Then there is Isuzu. Yamada Aseimon Isuzu was an unranked Aseimon in the Yamada clan. 
after the Shogun became impatient for the first team acquiring the Elixir of Life, Isuzu and Kiyomaru were chosen to join Shugen and Jika to be a part of the second team sent to acquire the Elixir of Life. Isuzu and her older brother, Genji, joined the Yamada clan when they were young and eventually earned their names as Yamada Asaimons. At times, Isuzu was mocked because of her appearance and had to cope with harsh insults. During one of her duties, Yamada Asaimon Shugen came to her defense after she received discrimination from the castle women she came to instruct and felt grateful to him. Isuzu then went on to pledge her loyalty towards him in hoping she can repay the kindness he showed her. So, Kiyomaru also went along with Isuzu to the island. Kiyomaru was born as the son of a samurai and was taken in by the Yamada clan within the side branch dojo. He then met and trained with Yamada Asaimon Shugen, who pledged loyalty to words after the Yamada Asaimon treated him with respect. Yamada Asaimon Senta was also sent to the island. He was the fifth rank Asaimon of the Yamada clan. After the Shogun called for criminals to acquire the Elixir of Life from the dangerous island known as Kotaku in exchange for a pardon for their past crimes, Senta joined in the expedition team as one of the Yamada Asaimon monitors and was assigned to keep watch over the criminal Yuzuriha until the mission was complete. When he was a child, Senta dreamed of becoming an artist. However, because of his family's tradition of sending their children to be trained in the Yamada clan, Senta never got the chance to live out this dream. He soon fell into despair, which led him on the path to theology. His studies resulted in him rising through the ranks and caused him to abandon his dream of becoming an artist and chose to carry out his duties as an executioner. So after these guys, Yamada Asaimon Fuchi, Kisho, Genji and Aizen were also sent to the island. And at some point in their life, they all trained Yamada Asaimon Shugen. And other than this, I didn't get much information about these guys. So that's all for this video. And if you guys enjoyed it, then make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.